Hi everybody, I am Santa Dr. Y. I came with my first aid box. There are some gifts I have here for you and I'll be giving this gift out to my viewers today. And as soon as you get this gift, I can assure you that you're going to have a very healthy season, especially the dry, cold, dusty period. So stay tuned and I will be right back. I am Santa Dr. Y, like I said earlier on, and like Santa Claus does every year, I have my box of gifts for you this year. Now, these are not just ordinary gifts. You know, during this season, a lot of people come down with flu, a lot of people come down with respiratory tract infections, cough, sore throat, and people who are asthmatic will most likely have a lot of crisis during this period or have an attack because of the uh, change in the environment, dust predisposes some people to having attacks when they're asthmatic, cold predisposes people to having attack when they're asthmatic. Now, in this box, I'm going to give you some gifts you need to have for this season. Now, the first thing I want you to have is this, which is a face mask. Now, this is a gift from Santa Dr. White to you. You need to always ensure that you have your nostrils covered, especially when you're going to a dusty place. And if you know you're in a very cold place, like in um, Russia, where they experience extreme cold temperatures, you need to ensure that you cover yourself up. And if you're asthmatic, don't forget, you need to stay away from the cold because you can have an attack if you do not do that. It's also very important that you have your wipes. Now, these are wipes, uh, this, uh, this, 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 these are wipes. You could have wipes. Now, these wipes are very important to ensure that you do things like you clean your mobile phones regularly. If you are the kind of person that you have your mobile phone and you take it out, you know you're most likely going to be predisposed to that. So don't let's worry about the mobile phone part. Now, you need wipes. Now, the next thing I'm going to be giving you as a gift is this box of, I'm not going to bring out the whole box because it's actually packaged. <laughs> I don't want you to take everything. Now, you need a lot of tissue. Now, if you have flu or you are probably, um, uh, you have cold, it's very important you use a tissue. We don't want you to just use ordinary handkerchiefs because most people might not take care of it adequately. So it's important to use a tissue. And it's also very important that you ensure you wash your hands regularly. Now, when you wash your hands regularly, I would advise you to use a lot of tissue. Yeah, I'm giving you tissues now. You use a lot of tissues to take care of, keep your hands dry. You know, okay. Have I given you enough yet? No, just have one more. Now, it's important you have this tissue to keep your hand dry after washing your hands so that you do not spread germs and infections. Now, don't forget, during this period, it's cold and a lot of viruses are around, a lot of um, respiratory central viruses. So it's most likely a lot of people will be breaking down with respiratory tract infection as a result of this respiratory central virus. Now, another thing that is important you need to know is when washing your hands, you have to wash your hands with soap and clean water, preferably a running tap, so that you do not um, infect yourself again or infect other people around you if you, <laughs> you have a, if you have the flu. Now, the next thing you need to know about um, your health to improve your immune system because your immune system needs to be improved during this period. And one of those things I usually tell my patients is this, greens, vegetables. You need to take a lot of vegetables. You need to eat a lot of vegetables. Now, the more vegetables you take, it improves your immune system and you're less likely going to have a respiratory tract infection. So you, you could have this, you could have this. Yes, okay, don't worry, I'll keep it in Dr. Santa bag. But, um, box for you. Now, other things you need to know is you must take fruits, fruits, like fruits. Now, these are bananas, these are grapes. You know, you could actually go around and get as many fruits as you want. You see, uh, uh, my favorite, purple. You see, you can get this. It's very important. And one of my other favorites, watermelon. Yeah, I love this, especially when they're very red and nice, very juicy, and they look like my dress, uh, Dr. Santa's uniform. Now, this is watermelon. You need to have this. You need to eat a lot of fruits during this season. I'm keeping them in my box for you. You could come and have them after the show. Other things you need to, you need to ensure you, okay? These are oranges, orange. You could get tangerines. All these things are very important because the more you take all these things, it's going to improve your, your immune system. And when your immune system is improved, we don't want you to actually break down with infections. So you need to take a lot of 
fruits and vegetables. Now, another thing you need to know about your health to remain healthy during this season is you need to take water. Water. You need to take a lot of water. Now, I'm giving you this. Water is a gift from Santa to you. Santa Dr. White to you. So you need a lot of water. You can come and have it after the show. And you need more water. Like more water. Now, I usually tell my patients this. Drink water until your urine looks like water. Now, that doesn't mean you have a problem. Now, if your urine is concentrated, when I mean concentrated, deep yellow, it most likely means you are probably dehydrated or you're having another health condition. No, the more water you take, the less uh, likely, uh, the more water you take, the better it is for your body system and it keeps your kidney and all your body system functioning. I don't want to go into too much of details of that. Also, it is also important to you know that if you are diabetic, more water you take because it's going to be dry during this period, especially in the sub-Saharan area, like uh, here in my country, it's pretty hot, especially in the afternoons and in the mornings, it could be very cold. So you need to take a lot of water. Now, if you take a lot of water, you are most likely going to have your sugar level drop a little. Now, it doesn't mean you shouldn't take your drugs too, but the more hydration you have actually during this period, the better it is for you. Also, other things I want you to know about your health is there are some things people do during this period. They poke their nose, they put their hand in their nose and do a lot of pickings and just, you know, um, it's a dirty habit. Yes, we all know it's a dirty habit. Apart from that, you can actually increase your risk of bleeding from the nose. Now, some people will start bleeding. somewhere around. Oh my God. But you need to mop the environment. You need to clean all your furniture. You see, if you touch this place, you're not likely going to see dust there. Yeah, because you need to clean your environment regularly. You need to mop the floor, especially if you have a lot of kids around or kids that actually walk around in the house. Also, I usually advise people to swallow them. Also, if there was a delicacy that was made two nights ago, let's say fried rice or jollof rice, and you did not preserve it properly, please don't eat it if it is spoiled because that's food poisoning and that will end you up in the hospital and we don't want to see you in the hospital around this period because we also want to go and enjoy Christmas with our family. So please, here I am pleading with you, take good care of yourself around this season and if you have questions and any other thing you want to tell us, please you can just hook up with us on our channels, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and we'll be right there to communicate with you. Now, don't forget your health oh, is my priority. This is the season to be jolly. Oh, la, 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 la.